All right, Eric Connick from MechanicalHub.com. We're at the AHR Expo in 2019, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm with Mike Miller at the Takeo booth. Mike, you guys uh, are onto something big, I think, here with this Glen Dimplex uh, partnership on an air-to-water heat pump situation. Yep. Can you tell me more about it? Yes, Eric. We're very excited about a, a prototype uh, we're showing off here. It's uh, what it is is an air-to-water um, monoblock heat pump. It's an inverter-driven heat pump that can produce between 9 and 16 kilowatts which um, is roughly 50,000 BTUs of usable heating and uh, four tons of cooling. So this is going to be a great product to not only take care of space heating, domestic water, cooling as well? That's correct, yeah. So the, the unit itself, it's a monoblock system, so what that means is the whole refrigerant circuit itself is contained within, and it also has a heat exchanger inside that allows us to only transfer water from the outside unit to the inside of the building. Okay, so like, these are... These are actual units we're standing in front of that'll be indoors. So this is a water heater and a buffer tank? Yeah, so we'll have a storage tank available inside that will be heated or cooled depending on uh, the season. seasonal requirement. Yep. Um, and then from here you will also service your heat emitter, which uh, could in many cases will be a fan call to begin with, but it could also be radiant for heating, could be radiant, whatever it may be, a low, uh, you know, low temperature baseboard. Yeah, you've got the flexibility because it's a hydronic system. Exactly. Then uh, we also have a domestic water tank on the inside uh, that will allow us to produce um, you know, just traditional 130 degrees Fahrenheit uh, domestic water. Wow, so it's really, really clean looking. This is the this is going to be a, a, what the control will basically look like. If you have saw the piping connections are behind there. These two are connected uh, with factory piping that you just you, you fit on the job site, right? Eric, what we're trying to achieve is a plug and play sort of system. Uh, we'll provide all the necessary connections, uh, making it literally a turnkey uh, really? For our so you're not just talking about you're actually using it in your own home my own house uh, is one of the test sites for this particular unit so there I have a traditional furnace just like any house with an outdoor condensing unit for cooling I've taken the uh, AC coil out of the, the furnace itself and replaced it with a water Hydronic, coil yep. that'll do my heating and my cooling and then uh, I also traditionally had a high efficient uh, instantaneous water heater for my hot water production I'm, I put that in the test phase uh, in series with my uh, domestic water tank from this uh, system. So I'm basically running the hot water from here through my instantaneous, but this unit itself is more than capable of providing my whole hot water needs. That instantaneous has not ran ever since uh, the implementation of it. So that's great for retrofit, but on new construction, I, as I see it from a contractor standpoint, yep. I'm not going to need a gas line. Nope. I'm not going to need to run a flue for a boiler or anything like that. Correct. In certain climates, you're probably going to need a backup heater though as well, right? Yes, yeah, so the limitation, well, the one is the, it's ideal operating range. It can produce 140 degrees Fahrenheit water down yeah. to minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit out there. That's impressive. There will also be, as part of the indoor package, will be a um, electrical flow-through heater that can boost the fluid temperature when you're starting to reach those temperature limits. Could also use an air handler with a gas burner on something like that, traditional furnace like you're using in your house. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but this really opens up the opportunity to um, to cut really a lot of dependency on fossil fuels. More, more areas around North America are starting to go this way. Uh, there's a lot of talk about zero carbon footprint, so on and so forth. This is going to be the perfect solution. I believe that with this particular solution, we will be able to go off to some of the traditional forced air uh, markets or buildings available. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, it's impressive looking. Yep. That's for sure. Very excited. I'm, I'm excited to learn more. Thanks a lot, Mike. You're very welcome. Thanks, Gary.